Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salam ashrafil mursaleen Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad al-Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Bi madadakum wa nazarkum Sayyidiya Rasul al-Kareem Bi khabib al-Azim Fa'ati Allah ti'a Rasul wa ulul amri minkum And always a reminder for myself and abduk al-'ajis of the aifa, miskeen, wa zalim, wa jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence Alhamdulillah that we've been talking in the holy month of Shawwan about the binary code and Subhana Mandul Arshi Amma Yasifoon and the reality of Ramadan bringing everything to negation, everything to become a nukht, a nothing and that the tenth month Allah on this journey of muhabbat and love for Sayyidina Muhammad brings these souls into the Divinely Presence in the presence of the One and our life is training on how to be nothing, how to be a nuqt and in that nuqt and in that nothingness has the reality of all power and the ability for one to turn themselves on and off and in their training to reach to be a nuqt. <laughs> and, and in English words, these words of being nothing, nothing has a different connotation or, or different understanding. People think that they become nothing. And in reality servanthood or to be a slave for Allah is an immense title because it's not the slavery of dunya, it's not servanthood of the physical world where you're a servant for somebody. But servanthood is an immense dress from the Divinely Presence, an immense power because we have a generous Lord. The immense generosity of Allah that when one becomes a servant of the Divinely Presence they are immensely blessed, immensely dressed and from what Allah has the best of He dresses the servant. So servanthood in Divinely Presence is not what we understand from the material world. It's because we have to teach in English, the English is very limited and based on conditioning of what you hear of a word and how you've been conditioned to understand that word, it can have many negative understandings. But this reality of abd which we've talked many times and again a reminder always just for myself is the ayn and to understand servanthood is that Allah want to grant the servant from his ayn and ayn is vision and ayn is knowledge. That Allah in the highest level of achievement is abd, what we call in English servant but is not in that understanding and Divinely Presence. Allah is granting a reward for the, the, the servant of Allah in which submitted, negated themselves, uh, humbled themselves, went through the oceans of humiliation and humility, Allah grants them from His ancient knowledges. And as a result of these ancient knowledges they are dressed with the Divinely power because the knowledge has power. The abundance and overflowing angelic lights that begin to dress the abd is the immense light that they are being dressed to reach the ayn and Allah dresses them from the bath. And we describe that all of Qur'an is in 30 juz all of 30 juz in Surah Fatiha because just like a laser now being condensed all, all of Qur'an is Surah Fatiha and all of Surah Fatiha in Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Every time we say 
Rahman Rahim. All of Holy Qur'an is, is dressing that reality, blessing that reality and then Allah takes it even stronger that all of that Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem is in the bar. So now Allah is giving them Ayn for ancient knowledges as a result of that ancient knowledge they also have Ayn meaning vision that He opens the reality of their heart because they took a path to negate and to turn off and to know when to turn off and to subject themselves to Allah being on. Our life is about, I'll be off and my Lord is on. And the only way I can reach Allah is if I train myself on how to be off. So imagine then all the people who never train to be off and how can they be on and move towards Divinely Presence. Doesn't matter which religion they say they are. The two ons will never meet. The reflection of, of one on to another on is a reverse charge and that's what we call magnetism and spirituality. If we admit that Allah is the only on, the only positive charge, if you think yourself to be a one you repel from the Divinely Presence and what we call repulse and we find people repulsive. Because their charge is pushing away from us. So, it means it doesn't matter what their dogma, what their practices, what they claim, it doesn't matter. Just the energy understanding of every reality is, is, is the one that's free from all religious barriers. So, any religion want to talk to us and say that they can reach to the Divine. And then you, you talk and say, do you have a system in which to turn yourself off? So, no. So then you're telling me that you train us to be a one and that you're the positive, you're the great, you're the good. You know by the reality of energy you will be repelling from God. So the only way to reach the Divine is to be off. As soon as we become off the magnetic charge with the Divine and magnetism is that we'll be drawing near to the Divinely Presence. And the servant who can subject themselves to more negation and to be more off and more off, that's the test that every time they pass that test, even a fraction of a second Allah is drawing them near. That's why the testing of humiliation and humbleness. As soon as Allah wants to embrace them into His Divinely Presence to bring them, His words are fall short for this understanding. So imagine that He wants to bring them into the Divinely Presence. The only way to bring something into that Divinely Presence is then test them to be a negative charge. If they pass to negate that negation of negativity brought them closer to Divine positivity. And that becomes the reality of magnetism and binary code. And as much as shaitan is trying, don't reach Divine. For everyone who reached Divine it's like a game of checkers or chess that you'll be crowned with the power of a thousand men or women, a thousand rijal. So he has no interest in this game for somebody to reach. So what does he do? Is to make the person to think they're a one, inflate their ego, inflate their being, inflate their whole understanding on which they feel the pride of their somethingness, that they are something. And as a result they repel from Divinely Presence. Shawwal is the month in which is ten and brings out the secret and the inspirations that are coming for this binary reality. And that is the ocean of the one and zero. Then they described it in a different way last night, again reiterating the same understanding that we talked about the manifest and non-manifest, the duality of light. If you're going to be a particle and you're going to take the, the, the world of form, the science comes and Allah inspires for them to understand it that your light has a duality. You have a form but you have a much more powerful wave reality. 
and the only way to achieve the wave reality because everything is operating at the wave reality. All the knowledges are in the wave reality. All the spiritual associations are in the wave reality. The particle associations, those are imitation of a wave association. That's why if there's not from amongst them someone who achieved their wave reality, then it's a fake association. They're not able to call in that energy and to bring that reality. So the particles gathering together have absolutely no benefit because they're just from the world of form. And from what Allah wants from us is then again negate yourself so that you can reach your wave reality. And as a result of the wave reality then there can be many places at many times at all times. The immensity of the wave reality on how that light is moving everywhere. And through that light and the communication of light and all knowledges being conveyed through the world of light. In their way of reality they can be in any association that Allah wants them and inspires them to be. In a, in a less than the speed of thought they can be in the presence of Prophet with their way of reality, their soul sitting in that association and in the presence of awliyaullah in the presence of holy companions, in the presence of Ahlul Bayt. And this is, this is the immense stress and blessings that Allah has given to the nation and that asking them to rise to the occasion. Don't live a life satisfied with your particle. Don't live a life with a, with a feeling of manifesting in this world. And yet you, you are a seed and you didn't become what Allah wanted you to become of realities. And those whom achieve the reality in this world, immensity of the reality that Allah would dress to them in their spiritual realm and in their spiritual reality. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us <clears throat> with these holy nights and holy months to reach towards these blessings. And the masters of this Khawjagan way in which Allah has given, this is a gift to the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad and the gift of Nashbandiyat al-Aliyah like the soul of Islam, tariqahs are the soul of Islam. They carry and they hold the trust of the heavens. Islam is for the form but the ocean of Iman is under the control of, of the tariqahs. And the tariqah ways and spirituality and nashbandi is the soul of all other tariqahs. So imagine that it is the inner secret of that secret of our entire being. If our Islam is just the physicality, tariqahs and Sufism comes to bring the reality of the soul of maqam al-iman and higher maqam al-ihsan. To worship as if they see Allah and know that if they see Allah or if they don't see Allah that Allah is at a continuous state of seeing and observing them. So the immensity of these realities, <clears throat> the immensity of what Allah opening in the last days and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad is the fastest approach to that reality. That is the secret of magnetism. <clears throat> what we can't achieve by our mind and we can't achieve. Say, I want to go to Divine the Presence. I like what you're saying, Shaykh, and I want to go to Divine the Presence. How would you possibly go there? Where are you going? It's like a ship, you're, you're going to direct your coordinates to, to what direction? And that's why tariqahs come to teach us, no, the only way to that Divine the Presence is through love. It's the nectar and the sweetness of our way and you have to love that which is already in the Divinely Presence because the magnetism of that love uh, brings you immediately into that. It's not something that you can search by your mind nor even your heart. So the teach how we're going to reach the Divinely Presence is love one whom is deeply in the Divinely Presence and that's the love of Sayyidina Muhammad when we begin to love Prophet more than we love ourselves, 
the magnetism of his juzbah and his magnetic appeal and his ishq and love begins to pull our soul and our reality into that ocean. And as a result we're like a ship that on its course and it knows that course, it knows the way. It doesn't have to be given any coordinates, all it has to do is keep increasing the acts of love for Prophet the mawlid, the zikr, the salawats, the attendance, the good character, all of these actions that bring us deep into the love of Prophet so that the nazar, that the gaze of Prophet soul when it begin to reach upon us that reality draws us like a powerful magnet into that ishq and into that love. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us with that love and by means of that love every difficulty to be taken away and every beautific tajalli and dress and Divinely grace to be dressed upon us. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaam al mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.